What's happening here? SVU caught a doctor with his pants down with a UC and one of your sales reps in the suite. And what do they think? That's our policy? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Not according to the sales rep. You arrested her. She was looking to deal. You should have called me. I assured them there's no way this is coming from your office, but she's a former adult film actress with very little experience in pharmaceuticals. The optics are... It's a business, Vanessa. If a sales rep wants to trade favors, how can we police that? How bad is it? I've kept them from taking it to the DEA. <sighs> Thanks. They're already up in our grill. All this outrage and scapegoating. But the drugs are addictive. <sighs> of course they're addictive. To the addict. Trey, I'm talking to you as a friend now. What if you were talking to me as a friend and a conciliary? I'm with the DA's office. Mm, for now. But bluntly, I'll be looking for a new house counsel. Like, until I can lure you over here, maybe you could uh, keep tabs on this case. What's your worst fear here? <laughs> How much exposure do you have? <sighs> Look, did we downplay the addictive qualities of these drugs? Did we push them harder than we should have? It's a corporation. We were trying to get as large a market share as we could. But if someone's looking to take us down... So... What can I do for you now? It would mean a lot to my family and to me if you could report back on where this investigation is going. I can see a bright future for us. Professionally. Politically. And personally. I always felt we ended things prematurely. Your father wasn't gonna let a deed marry a Harrington. There's enough there for now. You make a good on the cover, Mr. Deep. I leveraged a personal relationship. I'm not proud of that. Why wouldn't you give us a heads up? I had to hear for myself. If this didn't pan out, you never would have known. I wish I was happier about this.